now with the great Mark Hamill, ladies and gentlemen. That's the, that's the one and only. Now, Mark, uh, Mark, you played uh, several iconic characters over the years, and we thought we'd put your knowledge of your own characters to the test in a new game called Know Your Role. Here we go. Now, here's how it works. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, an obscure fact about a famous character you have played, and you have to tell me if you think that statement is true or false. You ready? Oh, it is true. It's true or false, which oh. is much better odds than multiple choice. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of multiple choice. It's 50 50 multiple. Yeah, it's two. Yeah, All right, here we go. First up, Luke Skywalker. Uh, he, of course, is the main character in the original Star Wars trilogy, but there might be some things you don't know about him. Let's see if you know your role. In the original draft of Return of the Jedi, Luke was going to turn evil at the end and team up with Darth Vader to take on the galaxy. I pitched that to George because I thought that's the way things were going in Empire. I got the, the gloved hand and I was dr and dressed all in black, but actually... George said, no, it's a fairy tale for children. Luke is, uh, you know, he's virtuous. He's the good guy. So that's false. Yes. Wow, interesting. Aren't good? I kind of was hoping that. I was hoping for that. Luke Skywalker once crashed into a planet where he met Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that, you know why that's a question is because since Frank Oz was operating and performing Yoda, and I had done the Muppet Show before a month before he started. We got visits from Miss Piggy and Kermit on the on the on Dagobah, the Swamp Planet. So there's photographs of yeah. us with big stars, like like I say, Miss Piggy. But uh, actually, that's that that that's not true. Uh, you're, you, you're 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 wrong. <laughs> it is, huh? it actually is true. You went on the Muppet Show, and the plot was that you crashed. Uh on his oh. planet. We have a photo of you as Luke with Kermit the Frog. Wow. There you go, yeah. So it... Yeah. <laughs> how, dumb, how dumb am I? Because in, in, in telling you that, that was a false statement, I referenced the very Muppet show <laughs> that proved me wrong. That made it true, exactly right. That's why the game's yeah. fun. All right, good. Uh, all, right, all right, here we go. The Force Awakens uh, yeah. almost opened with a scene of Luke's severed hand floating in space. It was a... Severed hand holding a lightsaber, flying through space, and when it hit the stratosphere, the flesh and the bone burned off, and they followed the lightsaber as it went into the ground. And I thought, and I so I read the whole script, and I thought, well, there's great symmetry here because I'm in the first shot, and I'm in the last shot. <laughs> yeah, I did say your hand. No, nothing in, nothing in between. <laughs> but that that is true. That is correct. That is true. That would have been cool. I love that idea. Uh, all right, let's switch things up. You also played the Joker in uh, Batman, the animated series, but the Joker has 80 years of backstory. Let's see how well you know the Joker. Okay. In an alternate reality, the Joker is Batman's mother. Wow. wow. That's... You know, I haven't read all the material, but I mean, in my experience, my version of the Joker, uh, I don't remember that ever being the case. <laughs> Maybe they did that somewhere and I didn't read it. But I would say that's false. It is oh. true. Oh, no. In some uh, alternate reality, the Joker was, uh, yeah, was Batman's mother. Does it say, does it s say where and when and what you're talking about or just... <laughs> No, there's nothing. Just says no. nothing else. All right. So no backup. Just trust you. Yeah, yeah I just... It says, it, says, it says Google it. It says Google it. I don't know. Uh, there's a storyline in the comics where a monkey briefly becomes the Joker, and his signature move is making his opponents slip on a banana peel. <laughs> Again, that sounds stupid. I'll just say it's true. <laughs> You're wrong. It's false. We made that one up. Uh... That's not... A monkey wasn't the Joker, but... The Joker well, could be Batman's any... mother, but it's not a monkey. I was Let's not be say, ridiculous. Is that any crazier than him being <laughs> Batman's mother? Let's not be ridiculous. Oh, it would never be a monkey. Uh -huh. uh, here we go. Let's get to Skeletor. 
You're playing uh, the He-Man uh, uh, villain Skeletor in the new Netflix show, Masters of the Universe, Revelation. Uh, let's see how you know that role. Your character, Skeletor, is often depicted as evil, but according to a TV special in 1985, he actually loves Christmas. <laughs> no, he's the evil Lord of Destruction. No, he must hate Christmas. He loves Christmas. Oh. He loves Christmas. Yeah. They did a special, and apparently at the end, he really he loved Christmas. I don't know what, I don't know where. Again, I don't have any other facts except that you're wrong. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Well, this, this quiz is going to get me kicked off the show. <laughs> Never in your life. Uh, uh, you're a legend, bud. Uh, finally, here we go. Skeletor is He-Man's estranged uncle. False. It is true. <laughs> I found it out today. We got with some weird thing. What? That can't be real. Skeletor is He-Man's estranged uncle. And, and now I'm wishing you asked these questions of Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> this he, is... he would have done better. No way. No one better than Mark Hamill. Uh, that's Mark Hamill. Watch Masters of the Universe Revelation on Netflix, July 23rd. Hey, hey.